Hey, what's up guys? It's Antoinette here today. I'm gonna be doing an eyebrow tutorial on two eyebrow looks. The first is going to be that perfect Instagram slay eyebrow, and then the second one is going to be a more natural everyday eyebrow. So to get started with the Instagram slay brow, I'm just gonna take an eyebrow brush, starting with the spoolie in, and brush up all of my hairs. And then I'm gonna be taking these two brow powder colors and mixing them together and using those to create the look. Starting at the bottom, I'm gonna trace the natural arch line of my brow using hair-like strokes. Make me feel some type of way, but I can't, I can't. And this is where I start to get out of frame, so I wanna go ahead and apologize for that. But moving on to the top of my brow, I'm going to do the same. However, I'm not going to go as far in. So I'm gonna start more so in the middle. As I get closer to the tail end of the brow, I'm going to want to connect the bo both the bottom and the top lines. Now using hair like strokes, I'm going to go ahead and take the eyebrow powder and my brush and start to fill in the middle of the brow. Between filling in the brows, you'll see me several times go back and take the spoolie end of the brush and blend away any harsh lines. And then I just go back and fill in some more. And never mind the redness in front of my eyebrow, I turn red when I do the brushing thing, so that does go away. So you'll start to see me kind of creeping towards the front of the brow using very, very, very light strokes. I won't apply any more product to the brush, I'll just use whatever product is left on the brush to continue those hair-like stro strokes in the front. You can go back to the lames. Girl, you should have stayed in your lane. You weren't saying shit when I was breaking the chains. So this is what we're looking like so far. You can leave it like this if you'd like, but I want to slay. So I'm going to go ahead and conceal and clean it up a bit. I'm using Max Match Master Concealer to um, conceal under the brow and an e.l.f. angled brush. Again, I'm sorry about being out of frame. It will come back in just a second. You miss what you had with that say song. Don't hear my Samsung with the sad song. What I need is a queen on the throne. Don't hold me down and hold her on. When the queen is on me, she'll hold the crown. Take it, baby, till I come home. Then I'm gonna take a Luxie concealer brush to blend out that concealer a little bit. If not, then it's fucking thin. Pack my shit, then I hop in the bins. Now I'm off in the wind. Ain't trying to lose, shit, I'm trying to win. But you got the drama, and ain't by that shit, so you dismiss. To set my brows, I'm gonna be using Anastasia's Clear Brow Gel. And for even more cleaned, perfect brow, I'm going to take that same e.l.f. angled brush, using some foundation in my natural shade, and clean up the top of the brow. And then, of course, just blend it out. I remember when we get and argue All the love that we used to make And all we do is argue And I really got the time Now you hit my line And there you go The perfect Instagram brows that slay I say Wasn't really trying to get involved With someone on a personal level But could you got me on On a personal level All the drama that you bring Girl, you never know my trouble And you telling on your friends I ain't nothing but trouble All the bullshit ain't with it Ain't with it, no So don't want when the moment Moving on to a more natural brow, which is the brow that I like doing more now these days. I start by doing the same thing, brushing up my brow hairs with the spoolie. And then I'll take my brow powders and start to trace the under arch of my brow um, in hair-like strokes. In between applying product, you'll see me brush the product out to blend it a little bit better a whole lot more because I don't want a defined line. And gradually I'll begin to start dragging those lines higher up the brow. 
when working on the front of the brow, I never apply additional product. I just use whatever product is on the brush. Next, I'm taking a little bit of concealer under my brow and blending that out. Then I'll be using the Benefit Gimme Brow to help distribute even more color and product throughout the brow. And then I'll set that with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. And that's it. There you have it. Fluffy, natural looking brows, but still are thick and full and perfect for any makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Leave me a comment letting me know which brow look you like better. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching. And always remember guys to develop your mind, protect your body, and maintain soul. Bye.